right now. So we have uh, two fantastic people uh, in the studio. To my left, uh, we have Maria, and also to my right, and uh, we have Sammy. How you guys doing? Guys, okay. What's up? Okay, you have a deep voice though. So are you are you here for like an audition for my job or something? <laughs> You're like, ha, ha, good would morning. you like to take us this job? <laughs> no, no, no. We'll yeah, take you, Big Brother's you. job. <laughs> big Brother's job. What's, give me a Big Brother impression. For real? Mm. Housemates. Yeah. yeah. Free. Fair, fair, fair. <laughs> Keeping it moving though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, ladies first though. So um, you seemed shocked, uh, you know, on Sunday when you got evicted. I was all, almost like you didn't see you didn't see the eviction coming. coming. Honestly, I didn't. What? I'm not even going to lie. Okay. Um, I just had, it wasn't overconfidence or anything like people are thinking that I, oh, that people are thinking that I did have. Um, it was just faith. I just thought, you know, that I just wasn't ready. Like inside, I just wasn't ready as a person. So I was really shocked. Okay. And because right. we still had a lot of people. So. Yeah. yeah. So uh, whose nomination shocked you the most? <laughs> Sammy. Okay. My friend. Oh. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, hey, your friend. I never nominated Sammy. Okay, okay, so well, it seems like everybody gets into the house and kind of forgets that. I uh, was it called? It's right a now? game. That's a of game, course. man. Yeah. I mean, at, at some point we would have nominated each other, and I'm sure at some point I would have nominated Sammy, but it was still too early for him to have tried to kick me out of the game because okay. I was waiting to kick him out. Maybe when we were a lot less, like ten. When you five. didn't have any other choice. Yeah, quote. basically, okay. there were a lot of more people that I should have thought he would have felt that should have left rather than myself. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So to Sammy. Who's, uh, whose nomination shocked you the most? Process. Why? Same reason. Okay, you thought he was your guy yeah, and, you know, it was like he... I was trying to stop. <laughs> okay. So, taking Cross aside, um, it was impossible, I think, for the first couple of weeks to mention Sammy without mentioning Angel. Yeah. What, what was that? What was going on? All right. Angel is, of course... She's, she's a free spirit. I love her for that. Mm-hmm. I love that. For sure, again, I'm attracted to her. Although, you all know that, okay, from our last conversation, there was two options. Mm. She should stop whatever she's doing and let's vibe. Or, let's vibe, vibe as friends and see how it goes. And I picked option B. Mm-hmm. Obviously, because I couldn't undo the whole... I saw you a couple of times, just in one corner, just... <laughs> yeah, true, true. So, I just had to just, you know, Vibing as friends actually worked out well for both of us because mm. I literally got to you know, enjoy her personality the more. Mm. Yeah, okay. Really nice. Okay, fantastic. So um, we have GMK that just joined us right now. How you doing? Um, you have to just swing that you microphone. You have to swing, yeah. Yeah, how you doing? Hello. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah, morning. So uh, you took your time and uh, yeah, you joined us finally. So, mm, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's great. Uh, so you're the last to join, uh, you know, coming to the house. How did that feel? Um... It wasn't exactly sweet. I'm not even gonna lie. It was a lot of emotional roller coaster. I had it ups and down, and I'm not. As I said, I had it tough. I had it really tough, blending in and you know, warming up to the idea of coming in late. But at the end of the day, I knew it is what it is, mm. and I just went on with the process. All right, all right, okay, great. So, uh, I think from like the first day that you, you got in, and uh, you know, and all of that, do you just you start getting smoked on Twitter and everything? <laughs> yes. As regards to your, uh, you know, past tweets and everything. So, um, how did you? How? Uh, why? My own issue was, I, I think if you're going into uh, Big Brother or anything, you're mm. supposed to like you know clean up your accounts and yes. yeah before you actually uh, kick that off. So, uh, why did you leave all those tweets up? I promise you, it wasn't intentional. Okay, it's just bad I, timing. I had. I had the chance to actually clean out my tweets. Okay, and you did Or oh, you didn't get some. But I didn't get to go that deep. Those tweets were as far as 2018. I didn't think I had said so much shit. Mm. Okay, at that you point can't. No, no, no. no. I, um, let me just point that out. You can't curse if you if you uh, curse on my show. Sorry, yeah, I'm we'll sorry. have to send you. Yeah, I'm so, sorry. Okay. I didn't think I said so much mm-hmm. at that point in time. I guess I was very opinionated. I mm. mean, it's 2018. Twitter, I use Twitter a lot as I then. Now, I don't really use Twitter as much as I did then. So, w- seeing that, I was like, oh, I said this. I said that. Yikes. Mm. Really, the internet never forgets. It never forgets. All, you, all they need is a screenshot, basically. Yes, I know. Okay, okay. So, uh, to Maria, um, you were one of, I think, the most trending housemates, almost on a 
constant basis your name was popping up a lot of times but also you were perceived in the house and outside the house as one of the least trustworthy housemates why do you why do you think that was i think that's for them to answer that i don't know why they thought that i said that no i said people thought, yeah do you felt. think there's anything maybe you did or you said that Okay. Might have given um, that off. Maybe the whole big brother, like, you know, giving me loads of different tasks and, you know, me having to lie all the time to them and in their eyes it's like, oh, I'm being a different person. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually don't know, but mm-hmm. I thought I was myself. Okay, okay. cool. Yeah. Uh, so um, there was something that actually happened which forms uh, largely um, a bulk of conversations that are happening, uh, you know, offline and online right now. Something Paris said, something you said. And, uh, you know, at the same time, so it's just something I just want to address it right now. So uh, just let me hit that button, please. Okay. So um, there's a next one. So let's move to the next one. Uh, yeah, just yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's <laughs> sorry. I feel really uncomfortable listening to him oh, saying that. Okay. okay. Then yeah. you you actually there was, there was a rebuttal actually. There's the next one. That you. Uh, yeah. That you said. I'm going to bed. No, 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 no. Excuse me. I am literally not going to say because this this was the exact same reason I stopped talking to you. Why did you think that? Because you're good hair and don't do this because I'm on, we're literally both on national TV. And you'll see that for me. Because you're chatting, don't do that. And like, don't do that to me. It's literally not fair. Alright, cool. Okay, cool. So, uh, basically, I just want to jump right into it. So, Perry, on one hand, was saying that he did what he did. And, uh, you know, and he said it in front of you. And you were saying, you know, um, it, didn't sub- quite like, it didn't quite happen. So, my own issue, why I'm confused right now is, um, yeah, we, we know guys would say stuff. And most times that maybe probably didn't happen. And especially when we, we deal with their boys or something. Mm-hmm. But um, when they're saying it in front of who they say it happened with. And you were saying you don't um, remember that happening. So there's a little bit of um, disconnect. A disconnect. Okay, there were so many things that were said. If, if I mean, the people who watched the whole yeah. clip that okay. they outside actually watched it, it started with him asking, like, you know, why haven't why haven't you been talking to me? Like, I miss talking to you and stuff. I said, are you oblivious to, like, maybe these were not the exact words, but this was, like, what I meant. I said, you know, are you oblivious to what you've actually done? And he was like, what? So I brought that up. I said, why would we be playing truth in there? when you bring up like you know something that never happened so he looked at me and he said marie it did happen so i'm laughing i'm like what are you talking about like what happened why would you why are you making up stuff we're literally on national tv like i don't know if people also watched the part that perry read not on that same day a different day read my palm and you know he said oh like your relationship's gonna end in like two months okay and like i'm definitely and you're not gonna believe anything i'm saying to you now mm-hmm. but i'm definitely gonna married to you i know it sounds crazy to you but i saw that the timeline and the path line was there so i'm laughing that day i was like oh, you're literally full of bs okay so you know we carried on and i said to him oh yes yeah, so i was i was i was like don't do this like you do know my situation outside of the house okay so if this is you trying to sabotage sabotage stuff it's literally unfair he goes oh okay maria you, we did nothing happened i said so why have you just done this and he was facing the camera i don't know if you guys know where the yeah. cameras are in the mm. house yeah. but he was facing the camera right at the party door so i looked at him i looked at the camera and i was like oh i see what he's doing like he's actually because he was the one facing the camera and i was facing him mm. so i clocked on a little bit i was like so i said to him um why are you doing all of this and he goes oh okay cool marie it never happened i said so a minute ago you've just said it did happen and now I'm told he goes because you're making me lie on TV that it never happens I'm just going to do that for you and I literally that's when I said what I said, I said oh, you know what? okay yeah because it's weird and it's funny uh, that's the narrative that's out there right now and I was like okay I was going to bring it up because um, if a guy or it almost seems like he's he's either making up uh, narratives as he goes on by mm. or or I don't really understand what kind of game he's playing though, which is uh, if he eventually comes here 
uh, which is going to ask that. you know, part of the conversations that we're going to ask him because it makes no sense when you say, oh, you did something with somebody and the person is telling you that nothing happened uh, because if something happened... Myself and Perry, and the yeah. reason, I don't know what... Yeah. I, I actually thought I had a friend in Perry in that house, but yeah. obviously coming out, I'm hearing stuff and like, seeing you know, stuff, stuff for yeah. myself, mm-hmm. but Pride said that, I think two weeks prior to, yeah, two days ago, me being yeah. in the house. I actually just started noticing a lot of stuff, and I think I did say this to Peace and Nini in the di- in the uh, the lounge, the lounge. The lounge. Um, he also like Perry knows how to like dig at me to get a reaction. Perry unfortunately makes up stuff or like he over exaggerates stuff. Okay. I don't know why he did what he did that day because he, the two nights he was actually talking about, however he decided to bring this narrative out. He was actually in my bed that night. And what always happens when Perry comes to my bed, it's like he knows I don't want him on my bed and we're joking about it. And I know the cameras are watching. I don't want to keep embarrassing him. Mm -hmm. And I say, Perry, like, not tonight. Like, you're not going to say. And he just, you know, dives on or just forces himself on it. And I feel bad, like, embarrassing him on TV to say, get out of my bed. Mm -hmm. But half of the times I wake him up in the middle of the night and he has no choice because he's sleepy and he's not understanding. He leaves my bed. Mm -hmm. So actually that particular night, Perry was leaning forward to me to actually try and kiss me. But there was no covers, no nothing. The cameras would have seen that, and I kept, <coughs> I kept leaning back, and then I kept leaning back, and um, you know, it was I was I was dead sleepy. I was gonna go bed. Mm. I laid probably facing Sammy's bed because Sammy actually sleeps on top of me, and I'm a bit lower, mm-hmm. and I'm facing that way. But I had my, I literally because I didn't even know all of this till Jackie. Actually, it wasn't Jackie. I think it was my. It was one of the interviews I had. Someone had narrated how. He actually explained, like, you know, went so into details about what happened. Yeah. So I was actually laid on my chest. And, you know, Perry then put his hand over me. So I kept kicking his hand up, kicking, kicking his hand up. And even at some point, I demarcated the, the covers. Bed. Mm-hmm. I mean, we were under the covers. So I demarcated the covers. And, I mean, Perry's a friend. And, like, sometimes I don't, like, I can't do, like, I can't hurt him. Not, like, hurt him. Like, I don't want to be horrible to him that I'm just laughing about stuff all the time. And I think that's what makes it really yeah. annoying because I'm joking about shit stuff. Okay. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so, you know, he carried on. At so, and even when I <coughs> demarcated the covers, like, he carried on. And I was sleepy. So I just gave up. And literally, he had his hand across your like stomach. Mm. Yeah. And I slept off. And in the middle of the night, I, I, I woke up like a, yeah. And I took his hands off and I tapped him and was like, Can, do you mind going back to your bed? And, you know, he left. So all of that never happened. Again, Perry exactly this, did the same thing in regards to Jackie P. B. He loves literally poking me just to get a reaction. Prior to the first week that we got into the house, you know, he was always saying, oh, I really like you, I really like you. And I was just like, oh, yeah, whatever. It's probably just bullshit. You know, it's just yeah. probably, you know. And um, he'll call Saga. He'll call Buma. He'll be like, oh, guys, come here. Like, can you tell her? Who was the first girl that I said um, I found attractive as soon as she walked into the show, um, on the show? Saga and Bama would be like, oh, Maria, no, definitely. Yeah, like, okay. he even told us to stay away. Like, okay, oh, cool. Maria. So he does that. And then the night that I fake evicted him, that he yeah. really thought I... Yeah, evicted, evicted Prior him. to yeah, that, yeah. he went to Jackie and said to Jackie... He didn't He didn't know he was not going to leave. He said to Jackie, um, um, I, I do have something to tell you, but I'll tell you just right before I leave. Okay. So he didn't end up leaving. Jackie yeah. approached him and said, what is it? And he said, actually, you were the first girl that I found really. <laughs> yeah, so it I seems like he's playing games and all of I that. I found attractive yep. when I first saw you. Okay, so, well, sorry. This whole that I thought would just, yeah, you would just come back right That's right back to that. Okay, so uh, to Sammy, though, um, was there uh, any, what's the word right now? Any, uh, what's the situation between you? Uh, you've mentioned the situation between you and Angel. Uh, so um, you're very active when it came to drama task and everything. So uh, is there any plans to actually get into Nollywood now that you're out? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, obviously. Okay. A director, actor, writer, which of which of the hats are you trying to wear? All opportunities. Okay. Basically directing for sure and producing my own personal movies if possible. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh to JMK. Uh you got a strike. You were one of the last to come in, but also one of the first to sort of get a strike. And um I remember when the strike thing happened, a lot of people on social media, I mean a couple of group chats were like, Oh, They didn't think it was fair that you got the same strike as Maria and Per, who were repeat offenders. I think even Maria went as far as saying yours was more understandable because in your head you're going into the pool. You don't want anything across your stomach. But Mm -hmm. did that? Would you say that affected you? 
your head in the game like knowing you have a strike maybe making you more cautious or less ready to mingle um for me it wasn't even really about the strike mm. it was the situation <laughs> that brought the strike mm. that pissed me off because i felt like it wasn't deliberate mm-hmm. and biggie should have caught me some slack because <laughs> i mean biggie no say shy you don't enter body mm. and wearing the transmitter and the mic it's almost like part of your part of you already so i just went into the pool and even the people that were with me they didn't realize because ordinarily they would say ah gem kid take off your um stuff but it didn't occur to them to too, that mm-hmm. i was wearing that so and then i was really apologetic oh biggie i'm sorry i even hit my head <laughs> so i thought biggie would cut me some slack maybe give you a warning or yeah, something exactly just for me to be hit with strike the same punishment for maria and perry that <laughs> who removed yeah i'm gonna get like, to that uh-uh, maria. biggie biggie you know try for me okay. so he hurt me i'm not even gonna lie and i felt like yes he affected me some way because i felt like i i had to be on guard and literally working on eggshells yeah but it didn't quite seem like that so like you know the first <laughs> week that you came, <laughs> yeah the first week that you came in you're a little you know conservative and everything then from like the next week on and all of that the bikinis came out uh you know everything just came out it was great to watch because i just get off work and everything i'm like oh jmk is doing something okay let, let's yeah. let's watch so it seems like you had a very nice time in the house like you know just yes. being free and all yes i was the plan for me was always to have fun catch okay. my crew okay like it wasn't never oh i'm going here to like it wasn't that deep mm-hmm. i'm just being honest here yeah. i wanted to have fun and I you did right to, yeah i did i mean the little time i spent yeah. I did. I was hoping to have more fun, mm-hmm. but I mean, it is what it is. I'm yeah. here, innit? So, um, you're out right now, and uh, are you a lawyer? So, um, what next for you, though? Your uh, bikini line, maybe? Let's go GMKs. I'm telling you. Literally, think about that's that's, and you don't have to spend much on yeah, your logo. Just design. say GMK. Three letters. Yeah. GMKs. GMKs. Woo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Copyright yeah. infringement <laughs> if I don't get my my uh, hear that? Okay. Yeah, just call them GMKs. I mean for the, the thing is with my law profession, yeah. I mean I went to I read law. Mm-hmm. I had to defer my cultivar okay. because of the show. But at the end of the day, I feel like my education is still paramount to okay. me. So I would still further my masters. Okay. And go into businesses. Mm-hmm. Then, like the bikini line. Oh my god! Definitely. <laughs> now that you, you no, you, you better send him one. Oh yeah. my, plus like a nice one, yeah. You better yeah. come through with your coins. Yeah. <laughs> the bikini line. Yeah, so you're so like, yes, definitely. Um, businesses, and I'm also open to working with reputable brands. You know, good endorsements. I'm just really open-minded now. Being on the show has really opened me to love. Things. and even acting where we say i didn't know yeah, with the beer you don't care with the beer like, i didn't know i had that in me so the the experience was good and it made me realize that there's really no limit to what i can do so yeah there's a lot to come but as i said i'm gonna further my masters um do the bikini line do my businesses <laughs> the bikini you are so line. you have to clearly send him a pair like a nice onesie with his name on it line. yeah get good um brands to work with mm-hmm. everything good everything nice okay you cool know. uh so tomorrow just before we let you guys go um yeah maria let, so um there was this issue with you turning off the microphone and having that conversation with paris here uh you want to clear that up okay yes yes that day i literally was not drunk okay i did have a little bit of alcohol okay but not drunk wasn't drunk was okay. not tipsy okay even when i was apologizing to biggie i was like But okay, so apparently Biggie didn't play. I mean, me and Perry, we talk all the time. Yeah. I don't know half of the SHIT yeah, that, that, yeah. that I talk to him about. Mm-hmm. But like, so I asked him and he was asking me, you know, he was making it such a huge thing. I, I don't know if the camera saw that. He's like, do you really want to know what you told me that night? I said, yes. He was like, are you sure? I was like, is it that bad? And I'm laughing. And he was like, yes, that's really bad. I said, okay, tell me. He goes, no, I can't. I said, is it sexual? What was it? He was just like, yeah. So he never really said 
what, yeah, I what you said. said. Yeah. And I don't remember what I said. And what was so funny is that I wasn't even drunk. Okay. So but, now, so do you think it was a game where he's just trying to constantly trying to rile you up? Because but that was my fault. Though. Okay. So that particular scene. Oh, you mean with the whole yeah, what I said? Yeah. I really don't know what I said. So whatever he says, <laughs> I probably said it. Okay. I so uh, but I think my final question is: there seem to be a lot of. Uh, bias if i'm using the right word towards white money it seemed between you and pair especially when both of you were head of house that whole cooking scenario there was a couple of conversations in the head of house room where you guys were talking about oh the house doesn't know that you're doing them a favor by telling white money to sort of sit down that he's strategizing and saying that cooking is what is keeping him in the house and if i remember correctly i think the first couple of days in the house you and white money were pretty Chummy, you guys were close up to the point where he even told you that um, he knew you were the wild card, but he didn't necessarily say anything. So what exactly was the situation? And it almost seemed like Para was the one instigating half of what was going on with white money. What was that situation there between yourself, Para, and white money, especially when you were head of house? Okay, um, Perry wasn't the, you know, the thing behind my whole thought process of why I thought white was like how i felt he was um obviously coming out of the house i've seen what i've seen for myself he never nominated me blah 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 so that's bad judgment on my end mm -hmm. but um why my it wasn't perry at all perry had nothing to do with this yes he did you know say certain things to me but i was already thinking along those lines prior to that in my head it was just like you know as of then yeah you know i vibed with white and it was very natural in the beginning it was supernatural and you know, I started seeing signs that he would do so many things that were so unreal, like too much, like too good to be true. Like, you know, he'd cook morning, afternoon and night. Nobody and likes cooking or maybe wants to open but that's where he like a restaurant, like a he restaurant. Like now, GMK started in the bikini line. Oh, no. So he might start the white money restaurant. So. No, but <laughs> we, had, we had a conversation in yeah. white in yeah. the kitchen. And I, it did air. Yeah. And, you know, he said, um, all these things I do for you guys, like... I don't even like doing this thing. Yeah. You see this cooking, you never catch me cook. This one down yeah. there. So maybe that's a strategy. Maybe it's, it's quite working. So. Not even, maybe not strategy. Maybe just also, if you see where the way the house was, how unorganized it was, that cooking period, he might be somebody it that just, cannot it just deal wasn't with. just the cooking though. Like okay. I observe certain things. Obviously, what the viewers see is completely it's different, different from, from how yeah. you're living with someone. Mm. And half of the times, you know, they show viewers clips of where what. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not, they it's can't not show everyone everything at the same, at the same time. time yeah. It was just my, you know, unfortunate observation, yeah. observation that went into my head as being paranoid, yeah. which obviously I've learned my lesson mm -hmm. of, you know, but we're all humans at the end of the day and we're a bunch of people that were living in the house and, you know, this is what you have to do, you know, scrutinize people and think the worst of them because we're all aiming for a goal. But that that was just bad judgment on my end. Okay, came cool. To wipe, but it was nothing personal. <laughs> yeah. So let's round this up right now. So Sammy, sir, um, just before we let you go, we're we'll looking out for you uh, in Nollywood when you eventually make that first big movie. Yeah. And so, who are you rooting for? So get another your house at the house. Who do you think will win? White money or liquor? Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> Uh, why <laughs> okay so uh, to maria just before we let you go um we quite didn't ask um you know uh what what next for you so now that you're out so what are we going to see you do um then uh, who are you rooting for as well okay hopefully like entertainment as well but okay. um i do intend to hopefully god's willing obviously open like a big daycare in Abuja. Uh, okay um you know do I you mean, take adults no daycare for children. Oh, okay, yeah, just asking. Like, oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I never quite saw you talk about kids, so I'm I'm a bit like. Yeah. Oh. So in the house, there were a lot of things I didn't speak about, yeah. like personal yeah. life, okay. because my life is attached to a lot of people's yeah. lives, and mm -hmm. it's not in my place to, to bring talk them speak out about that. Yeah. Okay. So, there was so a lot daycare of for kids. Yeah. Not daycare. adults. No. no well, I can't come. Um, okay. Um, who am I rooting for? Um, honestly. Now that I'm out the house, yeah, <laughs> nobody. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course I'm joking. Yeah. Um, honestly, why? Okay. I do hope that he can come out the house okay. and like, forgive me, and we can get married. <laughs> oh, okay. <I'm> <laughs> oh, you're gonna kick but Queen no, out of the way. And like Ica Rose, oh, she was never in the way. Oh. Ooh. Anyway. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah. But um, no, this is all a joke. Like why it's like the yeah, road like to me. Like okay. I have so much love okay, for him cool. and respect. But anyway, um, and Ica Rose as well. Okay. But again, I wish everyone all the best and i hope whoever wins you know wins. is yeah. worth the win okay so it's a jam okay who, who are you rooting for mm. <laughs> 
I'm rooting for my girl, Angel. Okay. okay. Yeah, I really want her to win. She has so much potential. And I really want people to see her past her physical attributes. Like, mm-hmm. there is much Angel. Angel is such an amazing girl. So, I'm rooting for her. And I feel like white money, too, is a top contender. So, there is hope. Angel <laughs> and white money. Those are your two people. Okay, okay amazing. Cool. So thank you guys so much. We're looking out for everything you're doing with the bikini line, with the daycare. That will and take of kids. course, with our director, producer extraordinaire over here. And maybe adults as time goes by. <laughs> oh, so just say you need a daycare. <laughs> <laughs> I wear <laughs> <our> diapers. <laughs> oh, no, no, no diapers. No diapers. No, no diapers.